Hey, what's up? Coach Ryan Fanley from the Viper Pit. Today I've got a grip and back workout for you uh, that I think you're really gonna like, especially if grip is something that you use on a regular basis. Sometimes when you train back, you want to separate your grip from the back work so that you can really focus on, for example, the lat squeezing, the rhomboids. Other times, however, you want to train your grip with the back because it builds more of a functional strength. I have a little daughter and when I train this way, what I think about is building a grip so strong that if anyone were ever to mess with my daughter, it would be like they were being squeezed by the hand of God as I grabbed them to get my daughter back, all right? So think in that kind of mentality. Strong hands make a strong man, strong back makes a strong man, so this is strong man training. Back and grip. So how are we doing that? We're using towels for chin-ups. We're gonna use thick dumbbells. We're gonna use the ends of the barbell for the row. You're gonna really like this workout. It's gonna give you a nice overall stimulus. You're gonna have some big meaty forearms after this and a strong back to boot. You'll be able to grab and pull anything. So that's the kind of strength and muscle I like to build. Functional muscle that you can actually use in your day-to-day -day activity. Let's dig right into the workout. I'm ready. I hope you are. Kicking off the workout, we got towel grip chin-ups. Now, you want to squeeze the life out of the towel, but focus on pulling with your back, driving your elbows down. Uh, you want to get a little better range of motion here, but my shoulders don't have the greatest range in flexion. Moving on, the next exercise we got is the thick grip one arm dumbbell row. Uh, we're going heavier here, moderate, short to moderate rest periods for a compound movement like rows. Again, we're driving with the elbow back, pinching the shoulder blades, um, just so you get the idea. I go braced on a bench. And I also like to make sure the hip of the working side is actually elevated higher than the other hip. And what that does, it gives you a great stretch in the lat uh, to get a more complete range of motion. And a better stretch means better muscle activation and ultimately a better contraction. Now, I'm not going to show you every single rep here because I don't want to waste your time. So we'll move on to the next exercise. Now we've got a favorite of mine, the Meadows Row. Named after John Meadows, who's probably the guy that popularized this the most. Um, this is a basically a one-arm row using a barbell uh, in a corner or in a landmine. If you have the landmine attachment, that's probably the best way to do it. But if you don't, you can just prop the barbell against something. Now, this works your grip because you're grabbing the fat end of the barbell, uh, which helps de develop hand strength. Um, excuse me, helps develop hand strength and uh and grip function now as far as elbow position you can position your body to uh, work the lats and scapular retractors at different angles here i'm going with kind of an elbow out position to target my scapular retractors more than my lats while i'm doing this grip workout the next exercise on the docket here is a pinch grip um, incline rear delt and rhomboid fly i'm basically pinching the plates with my finger and four fingers and thumbs rather than holding it through the loop and this helps develop thumb uh, and grip strength in a pinch and grip fashion. Grip is position specific so you, you can't just train with a thick dumbbell all the time and expect your pinch grip to improve and vice versa. Uh, now I'm extremely weak at these but just because of my history with shoulders but I'm working really hard here to get a good pause and contraction in the top position. Now you can vary what this hits by how you move. So if you're primarily moving at the shoulder blades, you think about pinching the shoulder blades and then protracting, you're gonna hit more of the rhomboids. If you keep your shoulder blades fixed and keep the movement to the arm movement, it's gonna work more of the posterior deltoid. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Give it a shot to help improve your back strength as well as your grip. Those two things make a strong man. So enjoy this session, get after it.